Hi. In this session, I'll briefly demonstrate how to use MNOVA Screen 2D for batch processing a series of 2D proton N15 so fast HMQC spectra of a target protein with various ligands added. The goal is to identify ligands with significant chemical shift perturbations indicating potential hits. Here you can see the reference spectrum of the protein without a ligand where peaks have been automatically picked and manually cleaned. Next I'll run screen 2D with the set parameters for processing, peak pitting and analysis. After clicking OK the batch processing will commence. During this process each spectrum will be processed, peaks will be picked and their chemical shift perturbations will be compared to the reference peaks. For the entire spectrum the chemical shift perturbations will be statistically analysed resulting in a Q-score. The Q-score ranges from 0 to 5, with 5 indicating significant chemical shift perturbations overall. After a few minutes, the batch processing will be completed and screen 2D will load the results into a table automatically. The spectra can be sorted by Q-scores, allowing us to identify ligands with higher perturbations. By double-clicking on any ligand, its details will be displayed on the Screen 2D CSP editor. In the superimposed spectral display, the reference peaks are in red and test peaks in green. At the top of the list, we see the unmatched reference peaks, such as the one in the middle with no matching test peaks. In the middle of the list, we see reference peaks with matched reference peaks with substantial chemical shift perturbations while the last group consists of matched peaks with minor perturbations. Manual adjustments to peak matching can be made using the available tools. Returning to the Screen 2D results editor, spectra with low Q scores, like the one shown, indicate minimal chemical perturbations. Consequently, the overall CSP or Q score is very small. Once all the spectra have been reviewed, the results can be exported to a CSV file. Based on these results, you can determine which ligands are potential hits.